ASEAN foreign ministers urge Myanmar junta to end violence and respect the will of the people. ASEAN's message from Myanmar. ASEAN foreign ministers urge the Myanmar junta to refrain from using violence and to respect the will of the Myanmar people. These messages were conveyed during the informal ASEAN foreign ministers meeting yesterday with the top envoy of Myanmar's junta present. Because ASEAN operates by consensus, it would be impossible for ASEAN to condemn the Myanmar coup, as not only do member states hold varying stances on the issue, but Myanmar itself would obviously never approve of a condemnation against itself. Furthermore, countries like Indonesia have been championing for open dialogue with the junta, meaning that cooperation within ASEAN is still possible. The Situation in Myanmar Myanmar has been racked by weeks of mass protests and civil disobedience in defiance of the coup by the Myanmar military last month, with many calling for Aung San Suu Kyi's release. In response, the Myanmar junta has resorted to increasingly brutal methods to crush dissent, using tear gas, water cannon and rubber bullets liberally, while also ramping up the use of live rounds. Demonstrators have reacted by donning protective gear like hard hats and homemade shields, but those measures are likely useless against real bullets. 18 protesters had been murdered by the junta uh, last Sunday alone. The Myanmar junta has been conducting mass arrests, with state media boasting that they had apprehended more than 1,300 people on last Sunday. The journalists have uh, been especially targeted by the junta for their role in filming and disseminating footage of atrocities committed by the junta. The Myanmar junta has also ramped up its digital offensive against dissidents, utilizing foreign technologies such as Israeli drones, European iPhone crackers, and US hacking software. Most of these security technologies had been sold in Myanmar back when it had still maintained a facade of democratic rule under Suki as they had been bought under the guise of upgrading legitimate law enforcement capabilities. Some security technologies had, of course, been smuggled into Myanmar after sanctions, while the rest were sold to them by fellow authority and regimes in China and Russia. Singapore's Statement Singapore's Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan has stated that while ASEAN was committed to dialogue and assisting Myanmar, it was Myanmar that held the key to solving the situation. Dr. Balakrishnan further elaborated that Singapore believed that the only viable solution Myanmar has going forwards is to release President Win Myint and State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi and all other political de detainees. Dr. Balakrishnan emphasized that Singapore did not recognize the Myanmar junta as the legitimate government of Myanmar. He then explained that this meant that the ASEAN foreign ministers meeting was actually a meeting between nine foreign ministers and a representative of the Myanmar military, rather than all being uh, foreign ministers. Dr. Balakrishnan pleaded for Myanmar to change course and refrain from violence, which would not only harm Myanmar but also the rest of the region. He also said that it was not yet too late for Myanmar to turn back. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong called the coup an enormous, tragic step back for the country and condemned the use of lethal force against unarmed protesters and civilians. PM Lee warned that should such behaviour continue, the military would likely lose the support of the people, which would be disastrous for the regime. PM Lee also hoped that wisdom would prevail eventually, just as it had done bef uh, before during um, Myanmar's last opening up. He insisted that there can be no future for Myanmar should the military continue cooing elected governments. PM Lee highlighted the fact that he did not view sanctions as useful as they had done nothing to change Myanmar last time round. In fact, such an action would push Myanmar into the arms of countries still willing to maintain contact with the junta instead of granting sanctioning countries any influence over Myanmar. Furthermore, such an action would surely lead to the decline or even destruction of ASEAN. PM Lee added that widespread sanctions would only serve to deprive the Myanmar people of medicine, food and other essentials and would in contrast do nothing to hurt the junta at all.